All right, today we are going to create this Celtic knot. So I'm going to, this is the final product. I'm just going to move this aside. We're gonna keep it for reference so that we can see how to draw our lines later. But the first thing you need to do is use your ellipse tool. We're gonna to hold down Shift and Alt to draw a perfect circle. Um, when you have your default colors, this should be white, a white fill with a black stroke. What I really want you to do is to remove that fill color so that it is just a transparent inside with that black rim around it. Next thing, I want you to right click over here, go to your rounded rectangle tool. With this tool, if we hold down shift and alt again, you'll see it's just gonna be a square. We don't want that. We want it to look more like this rounded rectangle over here. So go center your circle, hold down alt, and then pull out. Then dragging, look, mine wasn't completely centered, but you can kind of get the idea of how you want it and then reposition it. Instead of creating the same thing again, I want you to hold down alt as you have that shape selected. And then we can make an actual copy of it so that it is a perfect duplicate rather than, to, rather than trying to eyeball it. Then we can rotate that shape. I'm not using a mouse, so this is a little difficult. Okay, um, then we can pull it down. Once you have it positioned correctly, I want you to select everything. We're gonna to go to your properties panel. If your properties panel doesn't look like mine, go to your workspace chooser and then reset the essentials workspace. That way we can have the same view. When you're in the properties panel, go down to align and we're going to click horizontal align center, just so everything gets perfectly centered together before we make any big changes. So right now we have only the stroke selected black, but these are actually viewing as vector lines and they are just straight paths so you'll see over here we have that empty space in the middle but right now we're not looking like that we need to convert this to a shape so go up to object and click expand and then you'll see it's actually now converted to a shape but where we were working with just the stroke now it changed to the fill color now that it's a shape so i want you to go to your stroke and we're going to make a different color stroke and i'm just going to bump up that color now my inside lines are really small right now because if I had made a bigger um, stroke at the very beginning, then it wouldn't be like that. But just for the sake of this, I'm going to keep it like that. All right, so once we have it selected, we're going to go to your Shape Builder tool. So let's see, Shape Builder is right here. It should be defaulted to the top of your screen. You've, so there's two overlapping circles that's called Shape Builder. So what we're gonna do, you can kind of reference this. I suggest keeping mine in view so that you know which parts to remove. I'm going to do window and you can use the arrow keys to split your screen. That way you know um, you can see both at the same time. So with your Shape Builder tool selected, we're kind of gonna do every other. So you don't need to hold any keys. You're just gonna use your mouse to click and drag. So we're gonna drag over. See that line goes over. This line goes across, and I'm just referencing this over here so I can get it right. Um, this line goes over. You might need to pause my video and just kind of reference back and forth so you can do this. And I'm just, like I said, following along with this one, making sure that I get it right. This, for whatever reason, is always the hardest part for me, making sure that I get these lines correct. Okay. Almost done. Now I have all the lines done correctly. Um, I can put my fill color as white. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, I have that white fill now. Now the only thing left I really need to do is to fill in that negative space. You can't really do that with the fill color because this isn't actually a shape back here, but what you can do is use the Live Paint Bucket tool. So I'm gonna go to the Live Paint Bucket tool, change my fill color to black, and then I can just click in this empty space. I didn't have my shape selected. So first I'm gonna do the shapes, select the shape. Remember the Live Paint Bucket tool is in the same line as Shape Builder. So right click Shape Builder and you'll see Live Paint Bucket. I'm gonna to go to black and then I can click in this empty space. Again, my proportions were a little off on this because I did it quickly but you get the idea. So this should be more or less your final product. Then you're going to submit this to me as an AI file, and that is it.